Yeah, it was no, Tyree Wade plus warm up. It's Tyree Wade plus warm up. It's Tyree Wade plus warm up. It depends if you want to jump here or wait, right? Alright. Should we start? Yeah, I should probably not hold this though, right? Oh, no, you can hold that. Just put it here. Bit of a, ja- bit of a change from the last podcast. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to hold that. Hold that. Yeah. Well, here we are. It's the um, second day of the Tyree Wade Classic. We're in a new gaff, new sofa, new guests. In, in, introduce yourself. I'm Finn. Where are you from? Ireland. <laughs> bit too tired for this. I'm Finn Mellon from Ireland. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, nice, I'm Luke. Um, I'm now from Scotland, but I'm from, uh, <laughs> I'm from England originally. Whereabouts in Scotland do you sail now? Uh, so I sail either on the west coast, like with Scotty and Davey, yeah. uh, like sort of Troon area, or on the east coast um, with like the Gullin guys. Yeah, because we're, obviously we're in Scotland now, on Tyree, it's a little island. Um, but east coast of Scotland, it's, it's kind of good. a bit unheard of in terms yeah. of the spots there. Yeah, but yeah. you reckon there's loads of good there's spots good. over there? Yeah, there's yeah. some good stuff. Me and Rory have had some good ones. Yeah. Yeah, over on the East Coast. It's good. It gets a good wave. North Sea, nice and cold. Mm, it's cool. good. Right, well, today, uh, nothing's really happened today. Bit of a lay day. Um, yesterday was really hectic. And um, so it's kind of been nice to chill out a little bit. What have you been up to? Not a lot. Yeah. You actually left the house a bit though, didn't you? I went to try to put some stickers on my sail. That didn't really go to plan. Um, Looked at the beach. Not too much was happening. Yeah. Just drove around. That's what you do in Tyree, isn't it? You drive around. A lot of driving. Do a lot of driving. How much petrol do you reckon you use in Tyree? Norm- like normal, yeah. Well, you, you use a full tank, I think. Yeah. So you come up, you fill up before you get here, and then hope that suffices you. <laughs> suffice once you're here to get you on and off. That's yeah. about it, really. Yeah. It's, it's, we did mention it in a little, the podcast yesterday. Um, the spots are so close together, but you actually end up doing a lot of driving. Like, you end up using a lot of, of petrol, don't you? Just because, you know, you check one spot, then you have to do the classic. Check the next one, check the next one to make sure it's all... You spend so much time driving so little distance. Yeah. We've got a new producer coming in for today, helping out. <laughs> do you want? Do you got any topics for us, Luke? Yeah. Let's start with come down with me. Yeah. Bring oh, yeah, down come down with me. Yeah. New rules. Yeah, so what we did do today, we didn't do any competing on the water but we did start probably the biggest competition on the island maybe actually yeah maybe what we're we calling it the Tyree food classic <laughs> 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 we, we can work on this I think we can work on it but yeah, it's we'll a sure. big budding competition a lot of a lot on the line and Luke, um, us two we took it out well, yeah we took it out that's confident isn't it do you want to explain the rules of the competition <laughs> I would I'm not sure I can remember all of them but um, <laughs> We've, we've partnered up, um, so we've gone into little cute couples for um, sort of a come, come down with me special. So we've, uh, we're rating each other on something else. <laughs> <laughs> standard, uh, standard judging rating, really. But um, yeah, so we cooked a nice little free course, free course yeah. dinner. Little, um, I think we've surprised everyone with uh, the standard's been set. Yeah, we've set the standard for sure. Um, yeah, some uh, some good food. We had some dried meats, some cured salmon. Yeah, nice uh, ball I didn't need to start yeah. with. Had some meatballs. interesting meatballs. Yeah. Homemade pork meatballs. Yeah, yeah. Had your homemade dessert. Yeah, yeah homemade fancy dessert. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cadbury chocolate. I'm sure maybe in yeah. maybe in post we can put up a picture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe not. We'll <laughs> take it down. <laughs> Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, what's the edit of the separate? Is he going to go post production? So, the, mm. what is the um, insert cake here? So, we, we've been voting, right? So, the 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 losers pay for the winner's yeah. dinner. Is that right? Yeah. Or was there a more Bucky <laughs> related. Uh, what are you pointing at? We've just seen you on the TV. Oh, okay. We've just seen Lucas as about a 15 year old baby. <laughs> now, look at him. Oh, <laughs> oh, look at that cute face. Well, yeah, we just seen baby Lucas. Yeah. That was a good, yeah. Actually, we were just saying this with Finn. Finn, how many times have you been to Tyree? Two or three times? Two. Four times. Four? Oh, that many? Is that it? Yeah, maybe five. I, I feel like you've been... It's either four or five. Okay. I just haven't been in three years. Um, and I went for about four in a row before. Because I feel like your opinion of Tyree is a bit different to mine. Yeah. Do you, <laughs> you want to go in? Well, no, I, I always say... To, I, I always enjoy coming here and... 
some years, let's just say it's better than others, and I just feel like the years that you've been here haven't been quite as good as the years I've been. So you, your opinion may be a bit different, what do you reckon? I think I'm just quite a spoiled sailor. Yeah. I think out <laughs> of all my friends, even ones who travel a lot, I'm pretty spoiled on what conditions I get at home on my doorstep. Or hello. <laughs> and yeah, I'm pretty spoiled on my doorstep, so I think wherever I go, it is a little different. Like, say Cape Town, don't rate that. Yeah. Chile, I rate that. So most you, places aren't that good compared to home. Yeah. But that's what, you know, and it wasn't you always say home's better, but I think when you could say it now, you've been to Ireland, it's not bad. Yeah, it's good. So I think it's it quite hard good. driving a long way to somewhere that's not as good as home. Mm-hmm. Plus you missed the last two years, right? And we've yeah, had really good, probably why really good down. Because the last two years look good, so that's probably why I'm back. <laughs> um, Luke, what about yourself? How do you compare? Like, I mean, you did a lot of windsurfing in Norfolk. Yeah. It's yeah. not really, oh, well, I don't really know too much about it, but. It's quite un norfolk to be fair here, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, obviously like a West Coast, so you get proper, proper sort of reliable swell with wind, which, mm-hmm. is, which is good. Um, but yeah, no. I mean, for me, it's like a big, it's like a big holiday, really, with everyone. Mm. Um, gets everybody down. It's like a good excuse for everyone to kind of get up early and go to the beach, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's more about that for They're me. Also, but like full days, aren't they? Like you've not oh, yeah. the whole yeah, yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah totally. There's always something. Like I think I wouldn't have more here than I would at home. That's the thing. So if I was turning up to the beach at home, you know, I probably wouldn't be there for first light, rigging up at the maze in like yeah. sideways rain. Mm. But you do that here, and then you wind surf in the morning for a bit, you do a heat, wind surf a bit more, maybe do another heat, maybe wind surf a bit more. So uh, yeah, it's good. I think it's good. I think you wind surf more than normal. I think it gives it a bit of purpose as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And, and we've like, had some real good conditions past a couple of years yeah. ago, last year yeah, like especially. Yeah, really, really fun. Um, what was I gonna say about the, yeah, I just think, in general the whole thing is just like a bit of an adventure isn't it like it's yeah. not like doing a windsurf contest in somewhere nice and warm you get to the beach the wind builds up in the afternoon whatever it's like mm. it's full on it's but i think it's something like um that you've just got to experience yeah. even if you do it once and you don't really like it just, just come up and yeah i'd be amazed it. if people don't like it yeah unless they have apart amazing. from his fin yeah. i'm not saying i don't <laughs> like it <laughs> <laughs> no i enjoy the week and that's it's good fun you get the good company see lots of it's like the same faces which is very nice just yeah yeah i love sailing with loads of people as well yeah it, yeah which we never do, do yeah we? which we never really get well, anywhere in surfing around here <laughs> yeah. Yeah. maybe like south coast yeah yeah so it's quite nice to have people mm. yeah but and I, and i think in general the conditions you get we get here are pretty good for uk standard like mm. especially like for me coming from mm. south coast like You'll get you'll get your like what we're seeing well, here. You get your lot. onshore days that could be like south coasty, and you can get it quite epic like we did last year, like yeah. Could yeah, similar I think to Cornwall or something like that. And this is their wave riding trip, isn't it? You know, that's where they catch their get proper waves. Yeah, yeah. as we just see on TV. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. What next? What's the next topic? We didn't actually finish the come down with me. No, how did we, we get onto that from come down with me? Yeah. What? Yeah. No, we didn't. <laughs> competition. <laughs> competition. Finn doesn't it's a real like competition, it. eh? <laughs> No, uh, I reckon we smash out the plan. Yeah, what was your main, sorry? Did you, uh, did we did you say meatballs. that, sorry? Spe- yeah, meatballs. Spaghetti Spaghetti meatballs. Oh, yeah, we did go yeah. through that. Home um, Judging Home. criteria. Oh, that's service. 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 Great smile. Yeah. Yep. Uh, nice. Quality was one? No. Uh, Can anyone in the crowd? Taste, taste obviously taste. Presentation. And presentation. SPT. 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 Big SPT. And we have got head judge here. We're well, not head judge, but big time judge. Oh. <laughs> so he's... Keep that to yourself. <laughs> So he's keeping us in line with our judging criteria. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, SPT. So marked out of 10. Well, so we 10, 10, 10. Well, we think we're a 10. Yeah, you 10, 10, you're confident, are you? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. set the bone, no one's going to beat it, so we can be cocky now that the scores are in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can. Um, yeah, there's a lot to live up to. Yeah. Who's coming up next? You're coming up next, right? Yeah, Who's we're coming, coming up tomorrow night. Stanislav. Who's that? Stanislav. Oh, yeah, Stanislav. Stand the man. Stand the um, man. Yeah, we're going to come up with a, uh, <laughs> a, few, a fusion. <laughs> little dinner. Spanish French fusion, maybe, yeah. potentially. <laughs> yeah, we're getting the fresh produce. So, um, yeah, that'll be good. Gastronomy. Then we've got a few. Well, there'll be a few. Uh, what's the word? 
things going on in the in the uh, Altala. Yeah, there will be. Um, Not as good as what's in here, though. I'm sure. Yeah. But that is that's the kind of the other part of Tyree, isn't it? That we haven't really talked about the whole social yeah. side of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That kind of died a little bit with the COVID, the COVID years, but this year seems to be like yeah, proper, on. proper good. Yeah. Um, the main venue for the place is in a community hall. Community hall. Um, it's a pretty good venue. I think it's nice they've got Antala back. It's yeah, it has a good bunch. Whereas the other time, like last time, I think when it's just the pub, you kind of everyone separates a bit. But here, it's always nice to be in a like a big group meal and see everybody which is yeah. quite nice because otherwise you can get a bit lost in Tyree if you're by yourself yeah, yeah. I was going to say if you've come by yourself like if, you, if it's your first time or you don't know people or you're not staying with your friends or whatever having that hall means that you can um, you can turn up in the morning eat some food sort of meet people um, so for like a lay day especially you'd go there have a bacon roll and a coffee chat to people or you know maybe we go surfing here or people have been fishing or walking today I think some people walked in some hills um, and if you didn't, if you sort of weren't, weren't here with me, <laughs> what do you say? Hills. <laughs> there's hills. Yeah, there's hills. There's two. What One's got the, the golf ball <laughs> and the other one. Oh, I'm not denying the hill. I'm just saying he would walk up a hill. Well, um, I think Andy and Phil we saw. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, I'm sure people were fishing as well. But, uh, but yeah, if you turned up by yourself um, and you didn't really know what was going on, then you'd, you'd rock up there in the morning and have a bit of food and a coffee and you'd sort of meet people mm. and... I don't know, maybe hill walking would be a thing, maybe it wouldn't be, but um, you'd, you'd find, find a little gap. Yeah, we're quite lucky we've got like a bunch of us in here, it's kind of like a quite a social house already. Yeah. But yeah, if you came in a two pack, you'd want <laughs> to meet some people. We've got our producer trying to. House, our, our producer's <laughs> trying to. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what's the name for our house? We called it the. Fun house. The fun house. The fun house. I don't yeah. know. I think, we're all I, I think this is. We've, we've left <laughs> Rory's house. Explain to people where the fun house is. Or where does it come from? <laughs> what, what, what in start. the house the house it's location the where we, based. we are where we're Ballard, at Ballard, so we're Ballard. quite close to the lock um wild diamond um that yeah the center so we've got ballaville in there um and then going sort of left you've got the maze that way fuel that's a good ball. point in terms of people who want to cop to tight really where Boy. Ooh, Boy. where like where's the best place to stay would you say I think here's like, actually a really nice place. Yeah, so the further away from the co-op you are, the more um, prepared you have to be. Yeah. <laughs> so all the beaches tend to be... There's, what, to there's the one shop here. Um, we'll yeah, have, and the other one. That, that other one now. The 1.5 shop. Near the petrol station. The, the pe near the petrol station? Do you know uh, the one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one where you okay. can buy everything. Yeah. Like, it's wicked. Cool. It's such it's a good shop. to me. It's, it's there, worth it. No, I've never been here. You can get fresh fish and a tombstone. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Just what I need. Yeah. That's what we need. That's what Julius has gone shopping for on his cooking yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of fish and a tombstone for all of us. I <laughs> <laughs> like there too. Um, yeah. Where do you reckon? Where's where to say? Do you um, think being in the middle of the island is like the best place? I'd say so. We say them. Say middle of the island. You drive everywhere. Yeah, you know, as we're yeah. here, like we're close to the maze and we're close to Ballavillan, which True. is quite nice. Which, yeah, like Apart I think if we're having, pub. if we're not, yeah, if we're not in competition, we're, we're going to Ballavillan because it's probably the one of the better waves. Yeah, and also I think it's the prettiest place. Yeah, I think mm. it's yeah. a nice thing. We stayed at um, Crossapole for the last what three years? Two years? Yeah. Well, it was more Scar Scarish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which is great because close to the co-op and the pub, wasn't yep. it? So. Um, yeah, walkable from the pub. Yeah. That's a good thing. You, you, yeah. Safety first. You win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, any do's and don'ts for Tyree? Drink and drive home. Don't, um, <laughs> don't think you've bought enough warm things. Mm. Okay. You haven't. Yeah. It's yeah. absolutely freezing. Or dry things. <coughs> yeah. Um, don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget to <laughs> book some. <laughs> Got a little creeper in the background. <laughs> don't forget to uh, have accommodation, um, or don't forget when you've booked accommodation from. Ah, uh, yeah. So <laughs> don't forget to. Read that was our mistake this year, wasn't it? The what happened this year, Finn? What happened this year? On what accommodation? Yeah. So it's fault. It's not my fault. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> you wrote it in the group. Yeah, we searched it. It's, it's no, like. No, 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 no. 
technology. Yeah, t- I don't know. I, I, I completely missed it. I would it acknowledge I was the only one who planned accommodation for those few days, but besides you guys, out of our crew, I was the only one I mean, who planned ahead. These guys booked on the day. <laughs> Ferries though. Uh, book book him, book him up, yeah, book him so advice. Advice so, if you can. Yeah, this is a bit boring, but it is actually a good tip. Is um, the Tyree Classic falls in the, or this year anyway, fell in the summer timetable. So Carmack do a summer and a winter timetable. And unless you book it super early, because there's like, what, like 87 people trying to book basically Saturday, Saturday ferries. So unless you book it like tomorrow, um, then you don't get to do it until they release the winter timetable, which is a real pain because then you can't book leading up to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but so like essentially, book early. Just, yeah, book, book early well while the summer timetable yeah. is open. And houses as well, kind of. And book them, yeah, because they book out, don't they? Yeah. Um, We've gone pretty lucky here. Um, Very nice house. Um, but yeah, I would. I think like it's always good if you can get a group of mates to go and stay in yeah. the house. It, it yeah. makes the whole experience so good, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Cheapens things up, everything like that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Which is always handy. Campsite's good. I think we've all done a farm there. Yeah, it's my first time on a campsite. Not in the not first time not on a campsite. It's my first time in a campsite. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Okay, yeah. Um, all right, any other do's and don'ts? Yeah, book early. That's the biggest thing because it offers you much more flexibility than getting to the island or off the island. Yeah. Don't go for the black sheep. <laughs> Save that for your podcast. <laughs> um, what else? Don't yeah, pack warm clothes. It's really cold. I always say here's it's colder a month. this year. I think I always yeah. say here's a month ahead of home, but for me, further down south, it's like a month ahead. So whatever we'll have on the fifteenth of November is kind of what we're getting now. Hmm. It's actually quite nice for me when I go back home after this, it's and it's super feels super warm at home. But all my mates are like freezing and well. Just around in a t shirt. <laughs> we don't um, get that. So that is the benefit of coming up here. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah you, so you don't get that least. anymore. Yeah. Bring yeah. waterproofs, bring dry rubs, bring all that. Um, apart from the windsurf, what are you most excited for this week? Just salmon? And it's, we happen to be watching. <laughs> yeah. I know you can't see that. On the, salmon is on good. The They're the, what is it called? The Hebridean Salmon, salmon Company. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, they sponsor the event. So normally we get a nice barbecue. Um, one of the one of the days on the beach. Thursday this week. Yeah, yeah, looks good. So that'd be pretty sweet. Surf and salmon. Surf and salmon. How about you surf? Anything else? Surf and salmon. Just surf and salmon as well. Mm. No, I'm looking Friday forward to sailing. Up. Yeah, Friday should be fun. We'll see. This is the first year in four, four years. Five years only, but Kaylee's back on Friday. Yeah. The who? Kaylee. Kaylee. The who? Oh, the, <laughs> the dance. Party where oh, you get no. railed and dance around. Oh, wow. Where you get railed. Yeah, I don't think that's been on since the year Mark won it. That was a, yeah, mm-hmm. would be about 2019. Mark, that was my first year. You were a little baby. Yeah, oh. little baby. You were in the um, I was in the, the fun corner. Yeah, fun yeah. corner. Yeah, it was a lot of fun that <laughs> corner. But that, the that travel was the, the top end of the pro fleet was. Rossian, Williams, Ben Prophet, Horrocks, Adam Lewis, and Mark Perry. Yeah. Which is like some yeah. fucking epic. Top and and mm. just to give a reference point for that, and Ben Julian, oh, right? Ben who's Julian. now yeah. top. Where, where is Julian overall at the minute? Like top nine. Five, six, I think. He's up there. He's yeah. top, top 10 or top something. 10. Top 10. Yeah, yeah he'd be top 10. Um, yeah, pretty stacked. Not quite, quite young ones. Because, yeah, that was actually just. Would that have been that was just before we went I went to Cape Town with those three mm-hmm. Mike and Julian so we went from here pretty much straight to Cape Town like a week later pretty cool um, and yeah now look at those two it's funny there. enough when Mark came here that That's year right. um, like he was he was sailing sick and I, I I was like this guy's gonna be world champion one year I actually don't remember because he was on Simmerman <laughs> <laughs> Um, um, yeah, no, he's and he's sick. getting pretty close like, I mean he's been unlucky this year but well he could almost win it this year which is pretty impressive and he's only done three events yeah two five stars pretty good going yeah well back to Tyree <laughs> oh my god yeah, that was <laughs> we've just seen an absolutely brutal catapult on the on the TV we're watching what year are we watching here last year last year okay, yeah okay. so yeah. this uh, this was the second big cross off day can we can we ask best day on Tyree? Yeah. 
Oh, easy, easy one for me. Um, so second best day on Tyree, this day. Yeah. This was really good. Last this, year. Yeah. So last year it was Ball of Fuel. Um, it was like a big swell because it needs a fairly big swell to get in there. But this is what, like logo? I think earlier. Logo high sets. Yeah, yeah. I think earlier on it was a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and it was 3-3 three, three in the morning and then dropped like 3-6 whatever. And we were selling upwind. So it was southeast. Yeah. So upwind was the, the bigger end of the bay. Um, yeah, and it was really, really good. And then the best day was the um, just before the event. It was 3-6, but from the other tack and a little bit bigger. That yeah, is the I other thing the here, actually. another do like to bring a, like a really small, like the smaller sail. Yeah. Because yeah, it's always like, just windy here. You have to bring a full quiver yeah. Yeah. from five, like your biggest to your smallest. But I feel like when it's windy here, it's like, it's really windy. Well, it's cold, isn't it? It's cold because it's like, heavy. Yeah, I mentioned yesterday. Like when you come, if you come from Pozo, windy yeah. Pozo, it's yeah. different. But I could think I could sell on a bigger sail in Pozo than, yeah. than yesterday. So you're on a three? I was on a three, oh yes. That's yeah. just because it's heavier. You know, yeah, it does. that's what I mean. You need to bring small sails because really the wind's like, wind it's powerful. Yeah. yeah, it's really powerful here. Full of wind, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. All right, um, how long have we gone for? Anyone want to, do you want to check? Well, it's quarter to 11. I can be before Sleepy. shit that time. Sleep. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I can't, I can't wait till you get Julius on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sorry if this is a boring one, but um, just not, nothing's really happened today. He's on the water, I'm on the water. He's probably in the water. Yeah. Um, but he is in the water. He's, we're up before you, us two. Hmm? We're up before you. Tomorrow? Yeah. 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 You're on yeah, we've still got to sail out of heat. Oh, we haven't yeah, sailed the heat yet. You haven't sailed the heat. So it's a bit funny. Do you reckon you'll be on tomorrow? I reckon so. Yeah. Why not? They'll, if they're free, she's at the Yeah, and then they'll do because what? There's three heats of us until everyone's in the second round. Yeah. Oh wait, no, we're in the second round. Yeah, <laughs> oh, but that'll be the second round finish quarterfinals then. <coughs> Wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah I don't know. Aussie wanted to add something in. Aussie, what, what do you think? Quarter? Should we get the dog in? Yeah, come on, Aussie. Come on, buddy. Come on, Aussie. 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 <laughs> oh, we've just been rejected. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is difficult. Um, Luke, what's the forecast for tomorrow? What can people seen. expect? <laughs> yeah, I haven't done the most of it. I know we're going to be at the maze. We we're going to be at the maze again, but it's going to be Port Tax? Yeah, it's Port Tax oh, southerly, so it'll be kind of side on. Yeah, but not as the way it's currently we don't know whether it's gonna be windy properly or not. Mm. And there's not much swelling around. Yeah. So it could be hit and miss for Tyree at the moment. Ross Niger boys would be happy. How do you feel about that? It is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it is what it is. Practice your jumping. Right? Yeah. I'd actually I want a decent practice. Yeah. You said you wanted yeah, to do a actually, try double. Yeah, well at home I got really keen for jumping and trying doubles, but then there was lit that was September sixth. Had a good jumping session. You and tried double, and then haven't had you any double? jumping since then. Since September sixth, haven't had. I haven't even had port tack wave riding at home. Well, we had some this weekend. Yeah, we were saying but it's a weird. It's, it's been a weird start to the season, yeah. isn't it, in the UK? I don't know about the rest of Europe, but we've been getting a lot of sort of southeasterly yeah. stuff. And which then is it's strange. And then it's so annoying when you kind of you're keen to go, keen to try, keen to try, and then you just get nothing. Mm. You kind of lose that excitement yeah. to try. Yeah. So um, hopefully we get a bit of jumping bef out of competition will be fun. There's a nice crew of us to do it. Yeah. So tomorrow hopefully we'll we'll be able to talk a little bit more about the action that happened on the water. But yeah, today nothing going on. We moved into the new fun house, um, and that's about it. Let's see what, uh, what do you want to say? <laughs> yeah. Right. I think we'll wrap that up. I'll do. Back to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Extra. Take two. So Luke's and I are fighting for the double bed room in this house. We're gonna do rock, paper, scissors, best out of three. Do we make more interesting say the loser has to drink the rest of the bucket?
fuck, man. I think that's fair. You're competing for me, so I don't know. Yeah, I ain't doing that. <laughs> this goes well with that comment from yesterday's video. What was it? Oh, yeah, we actually got some hate on yesterday's <laughs> video. Um, well, poor about, old Baltic, but we don't know But I don't know from. who it was aimed at. But, um, so if that was you, let them know who it was. Yeah. <laughs> at them in the next one. Weren't keen on drinking drinking and competing, were they? <laughs> um, yeah, let's do this rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Best of three. Best out of three or best to three? Or what's, what's the rule? Same thing. Huh? Best out of, best of three, three. Yeah. it's the same thing. <laughs> Well, you're you're doing, you're you're on three or after We're going to go and shoot, one, like we did yeah. the other day. Yeah. Well, put it down, you don't, he'll hold yeah. the mic. You see, you need both hands, mate. Both hands? Yeah. You look, he's nervous. Okay. He's nervous, he is. It's quite got, a big moment. Yeah, look, yeah. we go and shoot. Look, he's nervous. I've got him on rope already. Loser sleeps with me on the floor. Oh, shit, now we're all nervous. Okay. Okay, shoot, on shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Wee. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Yeah, big one. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, oh I double bed. No. Yeah, yeah. it's best to yeah. first to three or whatever. Well, that bomb show. Yeah, Good night. Huh? He's just done two out of three. Yeah, but I could still win it. No. He hasn't got three yet. Yeah. No, no it's best, best of three. Out of three. So he's like two. I thought it's best two, three. You can. No, best it's best of three. So these three are done. He can't hack it. What? I've got in his head. Like I'm gonna get in his head tomorrow. Oh. I'm <laughs> fuming right. about that. Go on, let's get my matches down. <laughs> I'm fuming about that. It's always best. To be.